very happy and excited to be back with another Monday motivation. Before I begin today, let me ask you a question. Do you know there were times when Lord Drama went through a state of grief, anger and helplessness? Yes, he did. When was that? And what did Lakshmana do to Rama at that time? Let me share with you an episode from the Ramayana. During Aranyavasa, one day, Sita Devi spotted a beautiful golden deer in front of their hermitage. And Sita Devi liked it so much that she wanted to have it. And she asked Rama to get it for her. So Rama went after the golden deer in the forest. As the golden deer escaped, appeared and disappeared. And finally, having lost his patience, Rama shot an arrow at the golden deer. The demon Maricha, who actually came in the form of the golden deer, before dying, screamed aloud. Ha, Sita, Ha, Lakshmana. And Rama immediately realized that it was act of the demons. And he rushed to the hermitage, only to find Sita Devi missing from there. He realized that she was taken away by the demons. So Rama started crying uncontrollably. Oh, my brother Lakshmana, See, Sita now has been taken away by the demons. I cannot live without Sita. She is more to me than my life. I will sacrifice myself if Sita Devi dies. Why did you leave her? I told you to protect her till the time I returned. Why did you leave her, Lakshmana? And he didn't stop. He was continuing to cry like a child. Lakshmana, there may not be a bigger sinner than me in this whole world. I might have done so many sins in my previous birth. Why am I hit by one sorrow after the other? I lost the kingdom. My father died. I'm detached from my mother and the distance from my relatives. Now Sita Devi has been taken away by the demons. And you know Sita is very innocent. She's so chaste, she's sweet and innocent. How much she might have wept when the demons were taking her away. He was crying like anything. He was in total grief. Looking at Rama in that state, Lakshmana gained all the courage to give courage to Rama. He wanted to inspire Rama to come out of that grief. So in Ramayana, there were several slokas which described how Lakshmana tried encouraging and inspiring Rama to come out of that grief. And let me present one of the slokas here. Shokam vimunchi arya dhrutim bhajaswam sahabutsahata cha astu vimagane asya what does it mean? O oh, noble brother Rama, banish your anguish and brace yourself with fortitude and let you be with spiritedness in her searching in searching of Sita Devi. Indeed, in this whole world, there is no backsliding for the spirited people and any kind of enterprise or any kind of difficulty or endeavor, however impracticable it is, it is possible. Please, come out of your grief. Let us go in search of Sita. We will find her. We will kill the demons and we will get our Sita Devi back as Lakshmana inspired his elder brother Rama. With great difficulty, Rama took courage and set out with Lakshmana in search of Sita Devi. So, did you see? 
even Rama, even Lord Rama went through the times of distress, in times of difficulties. So, if you are worried in these days of lockdown period, confined to the home, unable to go to the work, not sure whether your job will remain, are very much worried about your business losses, and not even certain today how long this lockdown period will continue and when this corona threat will be over. It's quite natural. If Rama had similar kind of feelings, why not you and me, the ordinary mortals? It's quite natural. But one thing we have to remember is, does it really help to continue to be in the same state for long? No. No. There, Lakshmana was there to inspire Rama. So do you have a Lakshmana to inspire you come out of this period of stress? Or can you become Lakshmana to somebody and inspire them to be spirited in these difficult times? It is because Keeping the spirits up and moving forward with a brave heart in times of difficulties is the way to go. When the heart is filled with enthusiasm instead of depression, however big the difficulty is, it can be achieved. It's possible to achieve it. While fear, worry and timidity will drain your energy. Your spiritedness will enhance your energy levels. The difficulties come and go. And the difficulties come to everyone. It is how we react and respond in those difficult times that determines how successful we will be in dealing with those difficulties. This incident from Ramayana should help you and me and all of the people out there to be able to learn and handle the difficult times we are passing through. So, you should keep your spirits up because for the spirited, any difficulty is no difficult. This present difficulty too is no difficulty. It shall be overcome if you keep your spirits up. So I want to ask you a question. Would you like to keep your spirits up and also help others around to be inspired and spirited? Yes? Yes or yes? Yes. Thank you. And I want you to repeat and say aloud, along with me, the next few sentences. I know these times too shall pass. I know these times too shall pass. I shall keep myself motivated. I shall keep myself motivated. I shall help others around me to be motivated too. Keep your spirits up. Thank you, stay cheerful, stay healthy and stay happy. I'll come back to you with another Monday motivation. But in the meantime, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do subscribe for it. And also don't forget to press the bell icon there. Thank you. Take care. See you again next Monday. You are awesome.